final Champions League group match invites Real Madrid to Spartan Park. They are club ranking two. There you see it. We are now up to 98 at players' trust level. It's not the end of the world if we lose this game. The Arsenal match is far more important in the league. We've already qualified for the Champions League. We would have to beat these 3-0 to have a chance of winning the group. So I don't know whether that's even worth contemplating to go for. I think we're going to make lots of changes today. We're going to rest people. A lot of people are going to get starts that perhaps haven't had starts recently. Um, we are going to go in with a totally different side to what we've been playing with. Penner will get a rest in the middle. Mayor will come in. Bizarre didn't, hasn't played recently, so that's fine. Brooks will get in at the back. So will Stephanie. So quite a few changes. Um, Minner will be captain. The other goalie's going to play as well, Edison Moraes. So we've gone in with a very different side here. Um, a few of the boys would like to play, obviously, against Real Madrid. But we've got to be realistic. The game against... Arsenal coming up is far more important and that's what we've got to think of so even though there's a chance for Mitrovic to go 6-6 six and six, he's not going to be playing either so we, none of the big boys on the bench either we've gone in with a totally different side here um, don't think we've got much chance of not beating them 3-0 anyway even with our best side so second in the group we're happy with we'll take our chances on a big, big night out, and a lot of people getting a run out today who haven't played much this season. So you know, Villalba gets a start. Stephanie and Brooks in at the back. Edison Moraes in goal. Um, Mayer gets a run out in midfield. Quite a few changes for this one, but it's still a live calm because it's the Real Madrid at Spartan Park. Um, would have been great if something had been on it in many respects, and we had done it, but. Um, you know, we've done it already coming into this one. So, job well done. Glad we haven't got a producer performance against Real Madrid today. They've gone in with a full strength side. There's three big boys there. You know, four big boys. Tony Cruz as well. Modric. You know, they've got them all out. All their stars out today. They're going totally for it. We've just got to enjoy the moment. Enjoy the festivities. Enjoy the three million in the bank balance at the end of it. And enjoy the game. Make sure, you know, we're fresh and fruitful for the big game against Arsenal coming up. And then the rest of the Premier League games leading into the window. Because they're going to be the big ones. Good work from Minna. But one really gave it straight to Bell. A good covering from his teammates. Jerry and Bagu, big day for him. Taroja, massive game for him. Not a lot happening here then. We are going to look to do some business in the window. We're going to have some money. We will be looking for sure to do some business. They're one the lap. Is that Gareth Bell? I think it is. Yeah, Gareth Bell. A little left-footed benderoo. No surprise there. I'm not really going to be surprised if we lose this game. Um, don't want to be annihilated, obviously. But we're... Prepared to let Slagva and probably this guy go if we've got big money in for him. We want Ross Bartley or Scrutman or someone. There's a couple. Scrutman might be available on a free. There is a talk about Scrutman perhaps available on a free. Zayak perhaps available on a free as well. There's a couple there. Or if their contracts don't get renewed, that is. Not sure about Christian Benteke as well. There's talk that he might be available if Liverpool don't renew the contract there. Kamikaze defending from the Spartans, but in the end they do get it clear. Not looking very comfortable at the back, Real Madrid. Posing a big threat. 
Good work from Taroge. Hector Villalba. He's looking for Leo Battistio, I think. Eight wide. Here is Leo Battistio. He's had some really good nights in Europe this year, Leo Battistio. Done a good job defensively going back there for us. Gareth Bell, a brace of spies. Real Madrid running riot here at Spartan Park. We're just not up for the game. We're just not up for the game. Which is a shame. A lot of people paid a big money for this. I'll be reminding them that at half time. That people are playing for their futures. And it's not just a Sunday afternoon stroll. Against one of the best teams in the world. Better from Bazaar. Edison Mraz. Oh unlucky. It was better. Remember, we got a point in the burner by what a performance that was. Oh, Benzema should have made it free. Should have made it free. That was nice. Bring us in. Nice move. Good ball. Oh, and Bagu couldn't get high enough. Best bit of football from the Spartans, though. Oh, and then a cheap free kick given away from Leo Batistio. Can't believe that's a card, referee. Want nothing in it. Big douchebag. Spartans just looking like they might get a fresh old here after half an hour. It's taking a while. They're knocking it about like lords at the moment, though. Real Madrid very comfortable at 2-0. It's put pay to any chances of them losing this group. Wanting a bit of payback as well for the Spartans. Getting that point at the burner by no doubt. Edison Mraz out well. Beating twice the young goalie. Bazaar. That's a good ball from Bazaar. Never drops for a player when the goalie rushes out, does it? It'd be lovely if it did. Tarot's not his strongest pass, pass time to pass, and it's not really worked out for him. We thought he was going to be the next big thing, really. That he hasn't turned out to be. Another good effort, Benzema wide this time. It could be four up to be fair. Taroge hasn't really produced the goods up top. Young 22 year old. We thought he was going to be really good and put pressure on Petrovic and Jerry and Bagu, but in fairness, he hasn't. Broom or another raking ball. No one picking up those pieces in behind though. And really we've been outclassed, outplayed, outfought in that first half. It's been really disappointing. Broomer will come off at half time. We need to rest him up for the Arsenal game. Because at the moment he is our best right winger in the, in the club. There's no doubt about it. But Carly will come on over there. Jerry and Baggy will come off. And Deco will get... Again, up top, couple changes. We need to make sure that's and Bazaar will come off of Vilhena. That's the free changes at half time. We're making those free changes just to keep people fresh. D 
Dicko not played a lot of football. I don't think he played at all in season three. Desperate to get him out of the club. He's been up on for sale for so long. But he's on here and he's getting a Champions League game against Real Madrid. What a nice moment for him. So Taroja and Dico up front for the Spartans. Villalba in behind. Very unusual setup. Stephanie getting beaten from by Christian Ronaldo, but then winning the ball back, and that's good. And the French defender. That's a poor pass over there from Taroge. Like I said, passing has been poor from a couple people today. Mayor. Passing supposed to be one of his fortes. Hector Villalba scores against Real Madrid at Sporting Park. Lovely moment for him. He scored that crucial goal against Napoli, don't forget, here in the Champions League. And Hector Villalba once again shows what a good player he is. Pace. We ran away from the centre-backs then. Good through ball as well. Mayor done well. Dico with the assist look. Good play from Dicko. What pace he had there. Pulled away from him and then the finish to match on the left. Lovely finish from Hector Villalba. Is there a chance we could get back into this game against the mighty Real Madrid? Show some fight if we did. What character that would be. You know. Hardly had a kick in the whole game. Midfield Mayhem there. Good from Brooksy. Ball over the top is Dicko. Oh, Dicko can't get it out from under his feet. What a chance. What a chance. Bit of pace up front. This last few minutes is causing them a few problems. Leo Batista has too much on that. Looking for Deco and Villalba in behind. Don't know if it ain't start to play start playing Villalba a little bit more, you know. Oh, chance of Bell, but Edison Moraes was out quickly and made it difficult for him. Dico's in again. Oh, and that's why he's not in the team. Finishing stats are not good enough. What a chance. Good one to Taroja. We could have been back in this game. We've had a couple good opportunities. There's still 32 minutes to go. Or 22 minutes, sorry. Big Edda. Real Madrid have probably switched off. They know there's nothing in it for them. They can only, you know, they've already done what they need to do. They've secured the group win. Ah, oh, Benzema puts it out of day. That's a shame because we were making a bit of a comeback then. But Benzema, we couldn't shrug him off the ball when he got in there. So strong. We were making a bit of a comeback then. To Roger. Oh. He's in the Mitrovic mode. He can hit a ball. Not shown it enough this season. Vilhena. Oh, unlucky from Vilhena. Brooks. Bit of a lazy one from Brooksy. Edison Mraz out. 
Gets rid of early. To Roach. Can't get underneath it. That little recovery from the Spartans. Dead and buried now. Game done, I think. Not had enough of the ball since. And Ronaldo's through. But he misses. They could have had six. Let's be honest about it. They could be six up here. But we could have had we could have had three or four. A couple really good chances in this second half. Dicko. A couple good opportunities for him. Good ball to Roger. To Roger. Dicko. Oh, what a chance for a Champions League goal for Dico. Phil Elba can't get it away. To Rode with a chance as well, but Dico should have nailed it on there. What a chance for him. Lovely ball, Bacali. To Roger. Have we not got a second goal? Oh, Vilhena unlucky. Tried to get eight, but Cruz was too good in there. Through. Ronaldo to make it four. Ball in for Bell. Surely it is four. They cut us to pieces on the counter attack. And they make it four. It's Hammers Rodriguez, actually. I don't think we deserve that. What an entertaining game though it's been. Plenty of action. Dicko trying to drive through the heart of them. Shot window Dicko today. Good effort boys. You know, untied, untrusted team. Good effort. We've lost it, yeah, but we're not worried. We're through from the Champions League group, and that's all that matters. It doesn't matter, that defeat. It's the Arsenal game we've got to pick ourselves up for. Yes, it's our first defeat in seven games, but it wasn't a 4-1 game. Let's be honest about it. We did have chances. We've got a couple goals in there, no doubt about it. The group will be finished. Real Madrid top the group. We go through second. Napoli beat Hangover, but it doesn't matter. Let's just wrap up. Excuse me. Paris Saint-Germain, Saturday the next, we knew that. Real Madrid and the Spartans, we knew that. Man City and FC20. Gil Vicente and Romo. Gil Vicente, we wouldn't mind them in the next round. Bayern Munich and AC Monaco. You can just imagine us drawing Bayern Munich, can't you? Or Borussia Dortmund and Real Sociedad. Barcelona and Tottenham. Zenit St. Petersburg and Feyenoord. So it's going to be a tough draw, whoever we get. 3.2 million. We now have 7.7 .7 million. Enough to do some business. There you see we are through to the Champions group stages. I don't know when the draw is for that. It's Arsenal up next. We'd like to see what money we get for getting in through that. Do we get any money? Doesn't say it yet, but there's got to be some money for getting through there, I would have thought. Which would be great. Incentive as well. Got money in the bank. 7.7 .7 million to do some business. We'll have to see what business we can do in the window. With more money to come as well. We've got a couple more. Let's just show you the schedule. I think we've got a couple more home games coming. Norwich before the window. And then Everton and Stoke in the window. So we should have 8.5 million at least by the time we get to the window. Plus hopefully some, some money from qualifying for the Champions League knockout stages. We'll have to wait and see if we get any for that. But Arsenal is the next big massive game. And we've got to get back on track. Look at their season so far. 16 wins. 2 draws and only 4 losses. They've been very very good. We've beaten them comfortably twice though. So we've got to be go into it pretty happy. Hopefully we can produce a performance. And beat the Gunners at the Emirates.